Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part three video on React JS CRUD example using Test and State Management Library. So now our focus is to implement the create operation. So first let's create one more page level component. Okay. So in that component, I am going to implement a form for creating the new item. So let me create a new page level component like add cake.js. Now let's configure route for our add cake component. So go to app component. Here let's add one more route tag and specify the path like add cake and element or component tag should be registered okay creating item means we have to invoke the post http post request right so we know our async methods we are directly create in our cake store file so here let's create one more file like add cake api one more method okay async method and to this method we should pass the payload of our form okay and constant api response await axios post and for post request I can use same URL. Okay. So copy that. But here we have to pass second parameter that is nothing but our payload. Okay. So here we are waiting for response. Once we got the response, that means in the response I will get a newly created record. Okay. So I have to push that newly created record into my cake data property. So what I can do? So using set and the arrow function inside it with the state as input okay state dot cake data dot push api response dot data so this is our async method for creating the new item as well as updating the response data into our store so now let's go to our add cake component. First, let's define a form here. Okay. So first, let me add bootstrap container. Okay. Add some margin top. And instead of it, let me create a row and a column. Okay, this should be imported. Let me import row and call. Okay. And now let's specify style like call MD8. We know, right? In general, bootstrap divides row into 12 column size. So I am taking 8 columns to represent my form and offset md2 means i want space on both sides of the form okay so that my form looks at the center so here let's add legend like uh, form heading okay. create a new okay and let's add here our react bootstrap form field okay so go to react bootstrap website so go to components and here you can see forms link click on it and here let me copy this form group sample okay and add here and import form okay and from here i no need this text Okay, and remove this ID name. Okay, 
and placeholder remove this placeholder remove the label and type will be the text so i want three form fields one for name one for cost one for image url to recall our db.json that that is our response data okay so now what i can do i will duplicate it couple of times okay and here i will name it like name and label name will be name okay and this will be a cost label name will be cost and this will be image url image url okay for reading the variables uh, form data i will use use ref variable okay let me create three variables that are type use ref okay so constant name equal to use ref which is a react hook okay initial empty value so constant cost use ref constant image url and some unwanted import remove it so these are my user of variables i can map them to my uh, form field so here form control will render as a text box uh, once it render on ui so to this we have to map them using ref attribute and to the ref attribute we have to map with our variable names okay okay and we should have a button for submit the form right so here let me add a boot react bootstrap button okay namespace imported or not imported and variant primary type button okay it should be add and we have to add a click event for it so i will add a handler here like add cake so this will be my handler so register with the button click so on click and okay and here i am going to invoke the api call right create api call so let's make it async okay we know to get how to get the reference of this method right so here we can use our use car store hook okay and inside of it i can specify state and state dot method name what is our method name add cake api okay so it's going to give the method reference so constant add cake api call equal to okay so now i have to invoke this method here so first let's prepare the payload so let payload okay and we know payload type name cost image url so these names should be given okay name cost image url and we you know we can read from the user of variables so I will use those variables so name dot current dot value so it's going to give the text field value okay same way name dot sorry cost dot current dot value okay and here also image url dot current dot value but here uh, this 
first reference variable, whatever we re read, use ref variable, they return string only. So I have to convert it explicitly to number. Okay. Convert it as number. And now I can call the add add cake API call and pass the payload. Since it is a asynchronous call, I can await it here. So once the data is saved and updated into our store, then I have to navigate back to my home page. For that, I can use the constant navigate variable of type use navigate that loads from the React router DOM. Here I can write navigate and specify the path. Home path is simply slash. Okay. Now we have to do some work in our all cakes.js because by default we land onto our home page. So we have to somehow navigate from home page to add cake form, right? So for that I am going to create a button here like add button on clicking that button i am able to navigate to my add cake component route okay so here let me add one more row and call and define styles like so class name so i will give like call md4 offset md4 okay and inside of it, let me create the button bootstrap react bootstrap button. Okay, variant primary type button. So on clicking button, I have to navigate to my add cake component. So for that, let me create a variable like navigate which is of type use use navigate from react router dom okay so since it is one line of code for my click event right so i am directly use arrow function for click event okay instead of that arrow function i will write my i will use my navigate variable and I want to navigate to where add cake. So copy this route and paste it here. Okay. Now let's test it. If I go to my application, see here we can observe add button displaying. Now if I click on add, see I got create a new cake form and open the network calls to check my post call save call okay so here let me create new cake like black forest some 200 bucks and let's add some random image okay and try to save it see i am able to see my newly added record if i go to network calls and if you check here, I have successfully created my API call. But if you see here, one more call, that is my get call. While we navigate back to our home page, we are invoking, right? So instead of calling the API call, what we can do, I can utilize the store because after saving, we are navigate back to home page. Instead of calling the API call again, I can fetch the data from the store, right? So now what I will do? So let me add this item again. For that, let's go to db.json file. Just remove the newly added record. So whatever we add records, those records will be added here. If we update, this document will be updated. If you delete, this ID record from this document will be deleted. So for now, let's remove this document and let's go to our website, reload. Okay, now I have single item. So let's go and do our code change. So go to my alkyl component. So here, whenever we render component, we are calling the get cake API call. Instead of doing it directly, what I can do, if all cakes, which is nothing but getting the data from the store, right? Cake data. 
so i will use this variable all cake dot length okay equal to equal to zero then only i want to call it api call okay so save it and reload the page since when we reload the page state there won't be no state so api call will be invoked you can see here and if i try to create again my item okay so let's create item and check network calls now we will see there won't be a get api call after saving the record so i am clicking on add button so my item is displaying if i go to here see i have only one api call that to post request that means for creating the record so once we create we will get the response right that response i am pushing into the store so store this use cake store is a hook automatically ref reflects the changes whatever happens inside of the store okay that is why we are able to see our newly added record was rendering on the ui okay so this is how we can do create operation using the just and state management library next we are going to focus on update operation thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you if you like this video please do like the video and subscribe the channel to support me soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off